is in a very Grinch-like way. <laughs> no Grinch in me. No <laughs> All right, well, since there's no Grinch in you, Stephen A. Smith, what did you learn about the Celtics in this Christmas Day? Well, I just think that they're the best team in basketball. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, when you look at the Denver Nuggets, they're the reigning defending NBA champions. I would say they were very lucky they ran into the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals because Boston didn't handle their business. Remember, Jason Tatum got hurt, you know, one of the first offensive plays in that Game 7 uh, Eastern Conference Finals game. But look at Boston right now, the acquisition of Chris Stapps Wazingas, a 7-3 shot blocker who can step away from the basket and hit threes. He had 28 and 11 yep. this afternoon against the Los Angeles Lakers. Give credit where credit is due. See what he is. Jason Tatum had his 25 points. No matter how great LeBron James has been, he wasn't the biggest star on the floor today. Even with Anthony Davis dropping 40 yep. and 13. It wasn't enough. But the question is, Kendrick Perkins, you've been a skeptic. You've been hesitant. You've been waiting to fully jump in on the Celtics. Are you in? Yeah. Is it I a Christmas miracle? Yeah, yeah, I jumped off the porch today. <laughs> well, this weekend. I mean, they, they came in L.A. and did a clean sweep in great fashion. First, it was the Clippers, and I don't give a damn if people talking about it. Kawhi. They didn't have Kawhi. Okay. They still would have smacked the Clippers, and they did that to the Lakers. Here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this lineup when they start – quote-unquote small with Pazingas at the five, they're really not small because they got great rebounding guards. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown is going to hit the glass. Drew Holiday has seven boards tonight, right? And then when I think about what they do, they're going to push the pace. They're going to attack downhill, and they're going to look for those threes, and they're going to keep shooting them. And they got guys that can actually knock them down. Derek White has been unbelievable. I, we keep we talk about one of the most underrated players in the I game agree. today. Yeah. Like, he could really be a second option on a really good team. If we go just compare rosters, I'm not going to disagree with the word you guys said about Boston and what they've gotten, how complete they are with size and versatility and defending and three-point obsession, which you and I are a little annoyed with, but it seems to be working for the most part. But I'm old school. Mm. The champs are the champs. They played a pretty hot Warriors team today. Uh, they played pretty well. I know Clay did not have the shooting game that we've been used to. Three of 12, nine points. Right. But you know what? When you have Jamal Murray playing like that, with the bounce in his step that he yep. had three, four years ago, they still the champs, well, Stephen A. Here, here's my only pushback when it comes down to Denver, and I said this. If Denver get home court throughout the playoffs, then they're dangerous. Mm. But if they don't, and the Celtics get the home court, it's a problem. Yeah.